What's up guys? For today's video, I will show you the cooling seawater system on board the ship. Seawater on board are used for cooling of condensers and coolers of some machineries, for firefighting, cleaning of deck and cargo holds, and for ballasting of the ballast tanks. But now, we are going to focus in the main cooling seawater system. From the ocean, the seawater enters to the sea chest of the ship equipped with suction strainer. There are two types of sea chest, the high sea chest and the low sea chest. High sea chest used if the ship is at port or the ship is in loaded condition. While the low sea chest used if the ship is underway or in the ballast condition. And there is a MGPS installed. MGPS stands for Marine Growth Prevention System. From the sea chest, the seawater suctioned by main cooling seawater pump going to the main engine air cooler main engine lube oil cooler main engine freshwater cooler And for the freshwater generator, the ejector pump delivers the seawater to the freshwater generator, evaporator, and condenser. Also to the generator freshwater coolers. and to the auxiliary boiler condenser to the accommodation aircon condenser to the galley aircon condenser and engine control room condenser also to the reefer provision plant condenser and because the seawater is for cooling purposes it means that there is an inlet line and outlet line In the outlet line, there is an overboard valve and before the overboard valve, the recirculation valve installed. Nowadays, it is automatic temperature control valve but its function is the same to those manual circulation valve. This valve change over if the seawater reaches the temperature of 20 degrees and below. You need to open the circulation valve and close the overboard valve so that the seawater from the system goes back or suctioned again by the main cooling seawater pump instead of going to overboard.